Masks are required on trains, but Metro North hasn't given out a single ticket since last year. Now critics want Governor Lamont to step in. News 12 Connecticut's John Craven telling us why. If you're getting on a Metro North train, you have to put on a mask. But critics say too many people simply aren't doing it. Sarah Patterson and her family always wear one. It seems like people are mostly wearing masks. I think that it, people are following the rules for the most part. And I think in an enclosed space like this, it makes a little bit of sense. But not everyone is masking up. Just take a look at the flood of complaints on social media. In spite of that, the Connecticut Examiner recently found Metro North has written zero citations all year. Now, two commuter rail groups are asking Governor Lamont to direct the DOT and Metro North to enforce federal and state regulations. We are seeing mass compliance of roughly 91 percent. Metro so North's president says the problem is overstated, but incidents do happen. If somebody is confrontational, if they refuse to pull up their mask, we will and have called law enforcement. Commuter groups say there aren't enough MTA cops. They want conductors to write tickets. But I believe the crews are doing the best that they can with this situation. But the state transportation right, commissioner says writing tickets is not the crew's job. When the crews have seen people stepping onto a car, they say, do you have a mask? And if they don't, they hand them a mask. Back on the train, Sarah Patterson wears a mask, but she's not worried if others leave it off. I'm fully vaccinated. I'm comfortable with whatever people want to do. If they want to wear a mask or not, I'm OK with that. By the way, if you do get a ticket for not wearing a mask, the fine is $100 here in Connecticut and $50 in New York. In New Canaan, John Craven, News 12, Connecticut. Metro North's president says they've added police on some trains, especially those leaving Yankee Stadium after games.